is about a woman who visited Sky City Casino in Auckland and lost between nine and twelve million dollars in nine days. She certainly was a high roller. Now who can afford nine to twelve million dollars in nine days? Well certainly not the employee that got sacked for a misunderstanding. Was he dismissed just to appease the high roller? Or was he dismissed for justified reasons? Well let's back up a bit. On the 17th of February 2016, Mr. Hayashi, yes, he's the employee that was dismissed, commenced his shift at 3.30 a.m. His job was to be in charge of the Baccarat table, where this whole high rolling big spender was playing Baccarat. Now the big timers at Sky City Casino get their own saloon. This woman at Saloon 82. Now it's critical to Sky City's business that they comply with the Department of Internal Affairs and set limits on each wager. Now this particular gambler had been set a wager limit of $10,000. That was to apply to her entire stay. Now this is where the complication sets in. So listen carefully. Now on the 17th of February, when Mr. Hayashi started shift, he attended a briefing session where the limits on the table were discussed. What Mr. Hayashi was told by the outgoing shift where the betting limits or wages were limited to $5,000 down from $10,000. Now that part of the information is not disputed. What is disputed is the outgoing shift alleged. They told Mr. Hayashi that it did not apply to Saloon 82. They claim they told him it only applied to Saloon 86. Well, it turns out the high roller was notified that she was due a reimbursement due to the changing limits in the wager. However, it was discovered that in fact the limits weren't changed and in fact she hadn't been disadvantaged in any way. So she wasn't due a reimbursement. So there you have it. The high roller had not been disadvantaged. Sky City had gained $9 million. So what was it Mr. Hayashi did to justify Sky City terminating his employment? Or did he do nothing? So wait till tomorrow for the continuing episode of The Casino.